so while I got time before work, I'm gonna tell y'all about my art flight from hell from the other day. You'll see on the on the vlog, but I know I'm gonna be editing it soon, so I need to go ahead and tell y'all this long ass story and I ain't been having time at home. So me, my husband, and my daughter. We was coming back home from San Diego because my daughter was in Georgia for the summer. So we went back to pick her up and it was time for us to go back home. We got our tickets to from American Airlines. Through American Airlines. I love American Airlines so much, but I don't know. This might have been the icing on the cake. So our tickets was for we was, it wasn't a straight shot. We was gonna fly from Georgia to Phoenix, Arizona, from Phoenix, Arizona to San Diego. Cool. Our flight was supposed to leave at 6.25 p.m. that night in Georgia, that evening in Georgia. And so we left for the airport at like three something, maybe, or four. Yeah, it was, no, it was three something. But we left a little late, so we was kind of like, well, my husband was freaking out, like, oh, like, come on like we don't have time so we on the way there remember i told y'all the flight was at 6 25 we on the way there he get a notification and it said your flight has been delayed till 6 36 and i'm like oh my god like i didn't want to be negative but i already know when your flight get delayed one time 90 percent of the time it's more behind the story and it might it might just happen again so cool we we on our we, we on our way to the airport still i'm like cool we only got late by like 10 11 minutes and then it tell us our flight got to delay to like 6 45 or something like that 6 40 something so i'm like okay here go this bullshit so we still we in the line we, we get to the airport we in the line for security you know we get through security and everything and we just keep getting our getting notifications that our flight got delayed so we walk so we just started walking around the uh airport just checking stuff out and all that whatever because we got plenty of time we got like damn near three hours to spare or a little over three hours we didn't go to the uso because the uso is outside of security so it doesn't make sense to go to the uso then go through security then go to get near our gate it was just stupid so oh god so what happened next okay so then we finally get to our gate and it tell us our flight got delayed till 7.28 p.m. We got to our gate at like, actually no, it's first it said 7. So we ended up getting our gate and we was chilling there till like 7.15 because they told us our flight got delayed till 7.28. Cool. And I see a lot of people constantly going up there in line and stuff or whatever. So I was just asking, just are like, if our flight got delayed here for an hour and our layover in Arizona was supposed to be for an hour that means we're gonna miss our flight in Arizona basically I was trying to figure that out and I and I, uh, some people was like no sometimes that that flight can get delayed to and I'm like mm, I don't know about that so then Jazara we just chilling at our gate playing on our playing on our phones and stuff and Jazara just happened to go on the American Airlines app no notification no nothing and it said we was going to Dallas Texas at 750 and it was a whole nother gate so I'm like, okay, maybe it's wrong. And I was like, you know what? I'm not about to sit here at this gate. It was 7.15. I'm not about to sit here and try to wait to figure it out. So I go to the, the thing, and I see other people with their phone out looking at their phone. I was like, oh, hell, this might be true. I go up to the desk, and mind you, this fucking bitch is rude. And no. So I go up to the gate, and I was like, why did it say I'm going to text? And she was like, let me see. Oh, what's your name? And then when she finished, she was like, oh, we rebook you. And I was like okay like when would y'all gonna tell us we were just gonna sit here like she was like we rebook you and you're not at this gate no more let me print out your tickets so you can go to your gate and because y'all leave at 7 50 p.m i'm pissed like what the fuck like y'all wasn't gonna tell us y'all rebooked us or none of that like i'm pissed so whatever me and just our pack our stuff everybody know american airline is long as I mean, everybody know Atlanta Airport is big as shit. So you have to get on a train to get to your gate unless you're at T-Gate. So we have to get back on this damn train and go to a different gate. I think it was C-Gate. From D-Gate to C-Gate. Nope, actually, nope. It was from D-Gate to T-Gate. Mind you, T, we could have never got on the plane, the train in the first place if we was going to be at Gate T. So then we get there. We get there to get on our flight. Did that one get delayed? 
I can't remember if that one got delayed. And I can't remember if the one in Dallas got delayed or whatever. I don't think it did. Yes, it. I can't. I can't remember if the one in Dallas got delayed. But anyways, we get to that gate and I go up to the thing immediately because I was telling Jazar like, if they rebooked us without us knowing, they probably didn't put our bags. Our bags is probably on the way to go to Arizona. So I go to the gate and I tell the guy like, oh yeah, they rebooked us. So we need to know if our bag's gonna go where they're supposed to. And this other guy come up and interrupt him like, oh yeah, our system will will reroute it and do this and do that. And I'm just like, okay, we'll see. Cool. So later we so we just sitting there waiting for the flight to leave. My husband decided to do the uh, bag tracker, and it said our bag was on the way to Arizona. So, Jazar go back up there and was like, look, lady, like, I got the notification, like, this is, this is our, um, our bag. It's saying our bag is here. So, the lady get on the phone, starts talking to somebody or whatever. Damn, this is already six minutes long. I might have to tell this, this might have to be a story, a story time thing, because I ain't going to put this long thing in the vlog. So, I'll put this before, this will be, watch the previous vlog about our flight going home before you watch this if i do it in that order but anyways yeah so the lady get off the phone and she's still walking around helping other people so i come up and i'm standing there like okay so what's going on and she act like she was scared so she was like uh yeah your bag went to the wrong place it might get here before you it might it might get there before you it might get there after you they'll reroute it or whatever and if it's not there then you'll have to file a, a bad claim and i'm pissed i'm still pissed like like what the f Okay, y'all, so that's not even the end of the hill. So, we board our plane to Arizona, and I think the flight is like two hours and something. I mean, to, to Dallas, because we're going to Dallas now. We board our plane to go there, and we like taking our naps and stuff. And the guy get on there and talk about the weather, because after our flight time was up, we were still flying. I'm trying to figure out, like, why the hell are we still in the air? The guy, the pilot get on the intercom, it's like, due to the weather, like, he basically got to keep going around in circles until Dallas runway is clear to, um, do, do whatever to land. And I ain't got nothing against it. It's just the fact that stuff just keep happening on this day, like, because I know it's for safety reasons because of thunderstorms. Cool. So then later he get back on the air thing and say, th like, 30 minutes later, he's like, yeah, we still can't land yet, so we got to stop in, um... We had to stop in Oklahoma City. We had to stop in Oklahoma City. We got to stop and get gas. And when we when we stopped, we was in line along with seven other American Airlines flights to get gas and to sit there and wait. We we waited there for like an hour. Yeah, we waited there for like a good hour. So all this time, our flight is getting um our it's it's basically delayed. We're delayed in another state though. So our time to go back home to San Diego once we get to Texas kept getting pushed back from from 10 to 11 from 11 to 12 to 12 45 and stuff like that it just keep getting pushed back pushed back so then we finally get back in the air or whatever we get back in the air mind y'all this flight didn't have no tvs it was the old school flight so ty don't left her ipad in georgia you really can't charge your phone if you use it too much it was just a hot mess so then what what happened okay we finally get to land in Dallas. I'm taking a nap, right? And I wake up like, oh, finally you about to get ready to get on our plane in Dallas to go home or whatever. Because at that point, I was just like, what the fuck? What the fuck else can possibly happen? Jazar tell me that we not going home tonight. And I'm like, what? You joking, right? No, he had got a notification saying, and they talked. They got on the intercom and was like, "No more flights can fly out of Dallas." They had completely shut the Dallas airport down because of the weather. Like, luckily we landed safely. It was kind of scary, so they was like, "No more flights can fly out of Dallas until in the morning." So you telling me I gotta spend the night in the airport? You can't get a hotel because we only got a couple hours. It's not worth going to get a hotel. We only had like six, seven hours. So it's not worth going to get a hotel. And then we find out most of the well, most of the hotels are booked around the area because all of the flights got shut down. So they was like, we have cots and stuff for people to sleep on. By the time we got a fire flight and stuff, it was no cots, nowhere to be found. Because you got people laying on them and stuff, like giggly gooing, like, nigga, I'm trying to sleep. I'm trying to go to sleep. Get off this shit. Like, come on. And I really did not want to sleep on that damn airport floor, but I had to put my pride aside and sleep on that damn floor. I let Ty sleep on the little chair area, put a little blanket on there or whatever. When I tell y'all I was sore, 
I was so, so sore. Like, oh my God. And it was so, so, so cold. Like, so cold. So, they had scheduled us to leave at 8 a.m. the next morning or whatever. Jazar stayed woke the whole time because he was watching us to make sure nothing happened to us while we sleep in the airport because people be shady. So, he stayed woke the whole time. So, I know this nigga was tired as hell. So, Jazar go and rebook us. And she was like, you can re be re rebooked for 8 o'clock in the morning. And let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all another thing. Let me go. Let me rewind. When we had got rebooked for Dallas to go to Dallas, they moved our seats around. They wanted us to sit on two separate rows. I'm like, no, 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 honey. And they was like, no, the flight too full. We can't put y'all on the road together or whatever. So luckily, it was this guy that saw us together and he gave my husband his seat so we could all sit together. Then we saw the next flight for uh to go back home to San Diego. Let me tell y'all, the seats were like, mind you, I got a six-year-old. The seat said one of us going to sit in seat row eight. One of us going to sit in like row 20-something. And one of us going to sit in like row like 18. You know how far that is from each other? You really think about letting my six-year-old sit in a damn seat by herself by some random stranger? So they told us at um Atlanta that we got to figure it out in Dallas. So the girl figured it out for us in Dallas, luckily. Thank you, Jesus. Or whatever, because I, I was not going for it. So she was like, we can either rebook y'all for 8 o'clock in the morning or y'all can get on a standby at 7 o'clock in the morning. Why would I get on standby just to might not get a flight and just to go through this shit all over again? Like, you got me. You got me beat. Is you stupid? But just, I was talking to him after that because I was just irritated. I was just ready to go off on somebody. I was just, ugh. So, um, so yeah, eight o'clock. I mean, seven. We were supposed to uh, board our flight at seven fifty. Seven forty something come or whatever. And just, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to the restroom before I go do my flight. They come on the intercom. The flight has been delayed about for about 20 minutes because such and such got to bring this and that. Got to finish preparing and all that. And at that point, I just had to start laughing. You, Something you just can't help but to laugh at at a certain point. Even though you ever been so angry where you just laugh. You just had to laugh because you, you ready to kill somebody. So, um... I text you, so I was like, you know what? You might as well stay in the bathroom all year because it's not like we're going home anyways. I had to, like, find some type of laugh to get... I had to get some type of laugh out of it because I just couldn't take it no more. So then we board our plane at um 8.20 after we were supposed to board at 8, 7.50. We board our plane at 8.20. You know, we got in our seats. The seats was cool. They had TVs. Thank you, Jesus. They had TVs or whatever, and we was the first to board because military family for first or whatever and so they had tv so thank you jesus but i was kind of tired still so i just wait for everybody to board wait for us to leave and i just took me a little quick little lay, lay my head down kind of nap kind of dozing in and out and i hear the guy come on the intercom because we were just i was just wondering why the hell we was just waiting on the runway he get on there and was like yeah we still waiting on um we got about 15 other planes before us to take off so you know we're gonna be waiting here for a while mind you we we on the plane we, we can't get off we can't wait at the gate we couldn't be delayed at the gate because we already don't got seated in on the plane we end up sitting there for like an hour we end up sitting there on that runway for like a freaking hour but you know what i didn't say that i just stayed asleep we finally get in the air you know that you know we didn't get delayed in the air we got delayed before we didn't have to go in circles this time. So we finally get home. Thank you, Jesus. We finally got home. But me and I was like, something just don't want us to be home. Something really just don't want us to be home. So we finally get home. We trying to figure out how we going to get home. Because our friend that was supposed to pick us up was out and about, which is cool. Or whatever. So we finally get home. And just I got a notification that our bags had landed. Two of our bags out of three had landed before us. So we went to the American little office. And we got those two bags. And we trying to figure out where our other bag at. And supposedly our other bag was up under the Dallas plane. How the hell did y'all manage to get two of our bags somewhere else and one of our bags on the Dallas plane? Like, that don't even make no sense. Like, what? But I'm grateful that all of them was there by the time we got there or whatever. So then uh, we got our last bag. It was a duffel bag. When I tell y'all my stuff was just all over the place in there, didn't look the same. Something had burst in there, so the bag was raggedy. They had broke my zipper for the second time. Like, it was just raggedy. Like, I was like, let me just get the fuck up out of this airport. 
So we go to the USO. It was it felt like heaven in that USO. They had like couches. You don't know what the USO is. It's like a place where military and families can go and like relax to get free food and all that. So it was like heaven. Like, oh my God, I feel this soft couch, this free food because the airport was closed in Dallas. So I, we couldn't really eat no food. We could all we could eat was like vending machine food or whatever. I was like, thank you, this free food or whatever. So then we find out that the USO got the little shuttles or whatever. So he uh gave us a ride to our friend house once we got our bags and everything and to um to our friend house and we got our car and we left to go home we end up making home on sunday instead of saturday we were supposed to leave on saturday to go home we end up making home on sunday and i have to work on monday so basically i missed the whole day of being off or whatever as soon as i get home i gotta go school shopping get the house ready because i ain't did top school shopping yet and just get everything ready so my whole fucking day was my whole last day off work was ruined it was the flight for head from hell and i can't say i'm never flying american again but american it's just such a good airline but y'all really pissed me off and you know what sucks you really can't complain about it because if it's weather you can't complain really complain to them about it or get a reimbursement because if it's, it's weather related it ain't nothing you can do about it they took us through all that hell and back like i'm gonna have to call them and see can i get me a free flight because we went through it but i don't know we'll see maybe i'll book another flight with american maybe not it was like so much that happened that i don't even want to book a flight with them but it is what it is we finally back home and i gotta fly back out in october to see my best friend graduate and i hope i don't go through this because i can't be missing her graduation anyways y'all let me take my ass into work that was my uh, story time about um my flight from hell uh i don't wish that on nobody but have a good day and don't forget to subscribe to our channel i know we've been slacking on here but we've been out of town and stuff so i've been slacking on my channel too but we out of town but we gonna be back soon and um thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and let me take my ass into my miserable ass job my job ain't miserable i'm just tired of it goodbye guys i'm probably late